Hello and welcome to my GTA car reviews. Today I'll be customizing, test running and giving my opinion on the Dinka Sugoi, which happens to be on a 50% discount this update week, ending on Wednesday, October 4. The car is available from Southern San Andreas Super Autos or Premium Deluxe Motorsport. The Dinka Sugoi is a five-door hatchback sports car added to the game as part of the Diamond Casino Heist update on February 13, 2020. The design of the Dinka Sugoi is based heavily on the Honda Civic Type R FK8. The production version of the FK8 was unveiled at the Geneva Motor Show back in 2017. The car is of course based on the Honda Civic hatchback, with just some of the design highlights being a winged carbon fibre effect splitter with red accent line, slatted ducts, diamond mesh air intakes, carbon fiber effect side skirts, 20 inch piano black alloy wheels with high performance tires, enlarged wheel arches, a carbon effect diffuser, just to name a few. The engine in the FK8 is a turbocharged inline 4 with increased power to 235 kilowatts or 316 horsepower in the European and Japanese versions, but remains the same 228 kilowatts or 306 horsepower in other markets. The power plant in the FK8 is joined to a close ratio 6 speed manual transmission with limited slip differential as standard. The FK8 has a top speed of 272 kilometers per hour or 169 mile per hour. The interior of the 2017 FK8 is comparable with its competitors. Um, safety features include auto emergency braking, traffic sign recognition, lane departure warning and auto high beam assist. The GT trim adds blind spot monitoring and cross traffic alert, parking sensors front and rear, dual zone climate control, power folding mirrors, wireless phone charging and uh, it has a built in sat nav. Uh, it also has a powerful 11 speaker stereo. The Type R earned a Euro NCAP 5 star crash rating. The FK8 Civic Type R went on sale in Australia in September 2017. On the road cost, without any options, was around $53,000. The 
the Segoy has excessive wheel spin before it takes off, which is quite annoying. This four-seater car has reasonable handling at lower speeds, but that's where the party ends, as it doesn't handle high-speed corners well, unlike its real-life equivalent. The car tends to fishtail in a frenzy when turning at fast speeds, regardless of it being front-wheel drive, and its um, braking capabilities are average at best. This thing's acceleration is okay, but its top speed of 119.25 mile per hour just doesn't cut it with so many other superior sports cars out there. The slow lap time of 1 minute 08.836 says it all as far as the Segoy's poor performance is concerned. Unfortunately, the Segoy gets a thumbs down for overall performance, which is disappointing to say the least. It's, it's trivia, trivia time. time. There is a discrepancy between the top speed shown on the analog and digital speedometers with the digital speedo showing the car reaching 106 mile per hour while the analog speedo shows that it reaches 120 mile per hour. The in-game speedometers are always inaccurate anyways along with the GTA 5 vehicle statistics. Just look at the Segoy's handling stats on the chart above. <laughs> The Segoy is powered by a V8 engine, if you can believe it. The engine is mated with a six-speed gearbox and it is front-wheel drive. Well, that's a wrap for the Dinka Segoy five-door hatchback sports car. The car is a disappointment. I was expecting it to perform more like its real-life equivalent, the Honda Civic Type R FK8. But that would make too much sense. The car's on a 50% discount. Grab one if you are a collector. Otherwise, I'd leave it be. Okay, thanks for watching and stay safe out there.